Hi guys, it's time for Money Mondays brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Now today's episode is up later than usual because I was waiting on some information from Mayberry Investments about the Wigton IPO. As you know, the IPO closed last week and they had indicated that they planned to announce the basis of allotment today. So what the basis of allotment tells you is how many of the shares that you applied for you're actually going to get and whatever you didn't get, you're going to get a refund check for that amount. Up to the time of posting this video, I still haven't received the basis of allotment, but as soon as I do, I'll probably post a bonus video giving you that update. I do have some other money news for you though. I have an update on the timelines for other government divestments using the stock exchange. So the government has announced that they plan to do two more divestments via the JSC in the coming months. So if you didn't get in on Wigton, there are still other opportunities. The government owns just under 20% of JPS, about 19.9%. And they'll be doing another IPO to sell those shares in about three to four months. So expect that sometime around August to September. Who owns the rest of JPS? 40% is owned by Marubeni Corporation. They're a Japanese company. And the other 40% is owned by another Asian company, Korea East West Power Company. The other tiny 0.1% is held by private shareholders. I can't tell you yet what the JPS IPO is likely to look like, but some things to consider when deciding if this might be a good future investment are the company's transition to LNG and also the increased use of renewables, of which Wigton is a part. Now, the other state agency that the government plans to divest soon is the Jamaica Mortgage Bank, but that's looking like around January 2020 or beyond. I'm actually not too familiar with the Jamaica Mortgage Bank. I just did a quick Google search and found their website, which frankly isn't great. It could use a lot of work. The links don't even work, not even for the About Us section. I found an article in the Gleaner from about a year ago saying they were targeting $1.3 billion for lending last fiscal year not sure where they actually ended up the total mortgage market is reportedly an estimated 160 billion dollars so JMB would be a fairly small player with less than 1% of market share that doesn't mean it's not a good company though we just need more information on how it's been performing and of course when the prospectus for both JPS and JMB come out you'll have your I'll have your full review of course just keep in mind I'm not a licensed financial advisor I just do my best to give you a complete and easy to understand assessment that's it for now remember to check back later for my bonus video when the basis of allotment for Wigton Wind Farm comes out of course like and share this video follow on Instagram subscribe on YouTube and tell a friend I'm Kalila Reynolds with Money Mondays